Tony Guerrero from Colorado taking on, you got to see him to believe him. This man is a bundle of energy. Marty Maestas from South San Jose Community Center. This bout will be in the 143-pound novice division. And let's go to that action right now. Tony Guerrero from Colorado taking on South San Jose's own Marty Maestas. So this promises to be an exciting match. Marty Maestas in the white shirt. He's known as a non-stop punching machine, a windmill, a human windmill. And let's see if he has that same style tonight. And his opponent is Tony Guerrero from Colorado. And immediately you see both men now coming out wild, exchanging Marty Maestas non-stop, keeps his hands moving. That's what I meant, folks. <laughs> he is really ready to go and he lands a right, left, right, left, right. Marty Maestas going to town now on his opponent, Guerrero, keeps him off balance. Guerrero trying to charge forward, continuing to run into those shots. Now he's trying to go to the body and slow Maestas down. Marty Maestas comes out like a house of fire. And Tony Guerrero pretty smartly coming in, just uh, rather than retreating, charging forward and going to the body. Guerrero fighting out of Colorado. And timeout as we have a problem with the gloves of Marty Maestas. Boy, oh, he moves so, hand, so fast that the uh, tape cannot stick to his gloves. <laughs> Non-stop action here. Marty Maestas, a real crowd favorite, uh, fighting for the South San Jose Community Center. There you see with his back to you, his trainer, Jim Johnson, rewrapping the hands of Marty Maestas. So time is back in now. This is the 143 pound novice division. So these are just some young pups coming up here, learning their trade, learning their sport. Oh, and Guerrero comes in with a good one two, but Maestas again, letting his hands go. Both men now just standing and trading. Guerrero downstairs, Maestas going to the head. Now Guerrero tries to use some moves on Maestas, who stops for a minute to take a breath. Guerrero now trying to stick the jab in there, not working. Marty Maestas with a pretty good defense, his hands are high. Guerrero now looks like he feels that Maestas may have settled down a little bit. There he goes again. The hands of, oh, and he runs into a right hand from Guerrero. Good right hand from Guerrero. That ends the first round. Wow, wild action round. I guess we're in for three rounds like this unless there's a knockout. Marty Maestas in the white shirt representing Albuquerque's South San Jose Community Center. And his opponent, Tony Guerrero from Colorado. You're watching the eight count boxing hour here on Community Cable Channel 27. And if you like this action tonight and you wanna to talk to us, tell us about it, please write to us. PO Box 91801, Albuquerque, New Mexico, the zip code 87199. And coming up, a 178 pound battle, the light heavyweights. It will be Lance Ackers, who is a, known as a pretty big hitter from Las Cruces, taking on a man with an incredible record out of Farmington, uh, Reggie White. Reggie White with a record of 31 and seven, with 31 wins by knockout, reportedly. So uh, we're in for a big slugfest when that one happens. But right now we go into the second round now, and it's Tony Guerrero from Colorado in the black, and his opponent in the white top, Marty Maestas, out of the South San Jose Community Center. And there you see the graphics about our upcoming bout. It'll be our final bout of the evening, Lance Ackers and Reggie White. That one will take place in the lightweight, light heavyweight division. So again, Guerrero tries to get inside, and Maestas, using that energy field of gloves, look at that, he just throws his gloves out there, one after the other, nonstop. Now Guerrero tries to go to the body. Ooh, a good right hand from Guerrero. And how many of those punches landed, it's hard to tell. Punches flying so fast in this match here, amateur boxing. Now we have glove problems again. Problem with the gloves, I guess when your hands move that fast, something's gotta happen. We hope you're enjoying tonight's action coming to you from here in the, at the Barrelas Community Center in Albuquerque. Amateur boxing, good clean fun. 
keeps the young people out of trouble, gives them something to work for, and it teaches them a lot about life, a wonderful sport, amateur boxing, safety is the name of the game. And the action is back underway here in the second round. And now Guerrero tries to use some quick, some of that speed work that Maestas has been giving to him. Guerrero tries to give Maestas a taste of his own medicine. And uh, Marty loves it. Marty says, come on with it. Now Maestas catching Guerrero coming in wildly. And the right hand's now from Marty Maestas landing. So a little bit of a roll reversal there in that attack. This bout coming in spurts. Just all of a sudden, the two will just let their hands fly nonstop. And we have another stoppage in the action now. And we've got a little problem. It looks like uh, the gloves again of Marty Maestas. So Tony Guerrero, you see him leaning on the ropes, taking a heavy breath, breathing hard. Marty Maestas will make you work for a victory. Maestas, a real nice young man, very friendly with the crowd, and he's a real crowd pleaser. You can see why with that style. Very aggressive, very offensive attack on the part of Marty Maestas. And there you see in the lower left-hand corner, was, uh, that was Reggie White. He'll be featured in our upcoming bout. He'll be the final bout of the evening. That's that big 178-pound um, light heavyweight clash between the two bangers, Lance Ackers and Reggie White. That should be good. We're looking forward to it. Right now we're being entertained by Tony Guerrero from Colorado and his opponent in the white shirt, Marty Maestas from Albuquerque. And again, both men just letting their hands fly now from both sides. Maestas favoring that right hand, trying to sneak it into the head. Guerrero getting inside and the bell stops the action for the second round. So we've got one more to go. Another tough fight to score. Good action from both men. Both men landing shots and it's up to the judges to discern what, what is landing and what isn't. And after that fiasco at the Olympics with the computer scoring, uh, had this been an Olympic bout, they might have it three to one. Three punches landed to one or something like that. <laughs> Ridiculous. Oh, the Olympics, a big disappointment with that new scoring system. They've got a lot of bugs to work out in it. And um, right now we're at the old fashioned way. We're doing it the, the real way. The judges are watching it and uh, deciding who the winner is, the way it should be. Can you imagine trying to push a button with Marty Maestas throwing shots? You couldn't possibly score all those punches. And so it's, uh, I don't know, there's times when that, that scoring system just may not work and this could be one of them. So round three is underway now. Marty Maestas in the white shirt, Tony Guerrero in the black with a red trim, and the man from Farmington trying to pull his way, but he's running into shots now for Maestas. Both men letting their hands just fly nonstop. Maestas backs Guerrero off. So Tony Guerrero, who had Maestas in the corner, and Maestas worked his hands, just kept on firing shots until Guerrero backed away. So Marty Maestas is ready to shoot it out with anyone that'll step into the ring with him. And again, Marty Maestas just continuing to move forward, being a little bit more aggressive and Guerrero trying to move to the side and get some angles, but Maestas is so aggressive, letting his hands fly so frequently that it kind of takes Guerrero out of his fight plan. Oh, Maestas tries to load up with a big uppercut. Oh, there's a good right hand from Maestas now. So Marty landing a good shot. He proves that he can throw one punch at a time if he wants to. Landing a good right hand. And the fans from South San Jose, the backers, yelling Marty, Marty in the background. A good left hand from Maestas. That warrants an eight count to Tony Guerrero. So, And the fight has been stopped. This one is over. And look at the, look at the winner, Marty Maestas. He is a happy man. Oh, is he happy. He pulls it off and gets the victory over Tony Guerrero, the tough fighter coming in from Colorado. Marty Maestas in the novice division gets the victory by a technical knockout or referee stops contest. 
So the high volume punching was not only fast but effective as it wore down Guerrero who could not continue. He was hurt there in the final round and the referee stopped the contest. No argument from Guerrero's corner either. His man was definitely running out of gas and hurt. So Marty Maestas with a brilliant victory here. You see him getting congratulated there from one of the folks at ringside. Marty Maestas, your winner. And there you see Reggie White preparing for his big battle against Lance Ackers coming up. That'll be a light heavyweight open division bout. Let's get the call now from the ring announcer. So it was the human windmill, Marty Maestas, coming out on top over Tony Guerrero from Colorado. Congratulations again to Marty Maestas, a good performance in the 143-pound novice division. The next bout of the evening.